said, he he kind of evolved. Oh, definitely. No pun intended. Made an impact. Wow. That. Oh, wow. Rare mistake. Ace Austin. Ace Austin, who's cool as a cucumber at the moment. Uh, he doesn't sweat. He doesn't sweat much. Everywhere, everywhere he goes, you heard in the opening video package. He's looking to make an impact. He's looking to make a statement, and he plans on doing that at the expense of the former MCW Heavyweight Champion, the Mecca. Ace Austin. He was trained by the Wild Samoans out of WXW Alpha Senior Samu. They 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 teach you how to be. You know, a hard, sharp individual, but... They teach you how to take a beating. They teach you how to take a beating, but he's in there with one of the sharpest in the Mecca. And as you've said before, the Mecca, kind of a throwback here, here in the world of professional wrestling. You know, nowadays in modern wrestling, there's a little bit more high-flying, a little bit more showmanship. Mecca, he, he found what works for him in that old school style. He's may, that might be what, what actually helps him here tonight. He may have to ground somebody like an Ace Austin. I think there's no doubt he's got to take away that flying game. The Mecca is like a mechanic, able to dissect, make sure all movements have meaning. That way he doesn't expel extra energy, Ricky. No wasted motion. None, and he, he has full tilt impact with everything. He unleashes, does the Mecca as he backs. Ace Austin into the corner. Ace Austin, a blue chipper, man. I remember seeing him uh, in, in Knoxville, Tennessee at a, at a, at a uh, bandit pro wrestling event. He was just, you know, starting to cut his teeth right before Impact. And now he is a bona fide wrestling star, former X Division champion. Three times X Division champion. Oh, nice drop kick. Former competitor in New Japan's Best of the Super Juniors. And he he is definitely, no pun intended, made an impact. Wow! But his face made impact with the with that apron. And you see the Mecca using that ring apron as just another tool in his playbook to inflict damage and the unlucky victim right now happens to be ace austin did you see that the wrestling intelligence of mecca he he ace austin did not see that coming a mile away the, the mecca he's been able to just pull pull anything out of his hat to get the advantage he's used the ring skirt turnbuckles we've seen does any anything around that ring he's he said it before he is a very good professional wrestler and he knows how to use every portion of that ring to his advantage now he's firing away with those hammer fists the side of the palm striking the bridge of the nose the orbital bone the ear and brent mecca has become much more dangerous i believe over over the past couple months ever ever since he he regained oh wow Ever since he regained the MCW Heavyweight Championship, as you said, he he kind of evolved. Oh, nice, nice kick from Ace Austin. He, he's kind of been able to channel his anger a little bit more and just use his aggression, take it out on his opponents, just made him that much more dangerous. Well, let's call it like it is. The guy shaved his, his hair and his beard, and he almost like became multi, a new man. Yeah, it was almost like shedding his skin. And now this this iteration, you know, all great athletes and contenders, oh man, they gotta step up their game, continue to evolve in this latest uh, iteration of the Mecca. Definitely the most dangerous, but Ace Austin did not come to lose. Oh! Yeah, and Ace Austin, a member of Bullet Club, so he knows how to bend the rules to his favor. Whoa! How smart is the Mecca? You saw the double clap on the eardrums. The eardrums, pain in the eardrums is known to be one of the most painful spots on the human body. And then he just kicked Ace Austin's knee, hyperextending it. He hyperextended it, but Ace Austin landed on Mecca's knee. And while that may have gave, given Mecca a little bit of an advantage, you can see favoring his knee ever so slightly. 
obviously he doesn't want to doesn't want to show it, but it's there. Sometimes you can't control where a, a body meets gravity, where it's going to land. Ooh. Speaking of landing, hard landing for Ace Austin. Look ribs at him trying first. to. Yeah, ribs first trying to catch some respite here, Ricky. Ribs first going into that turnbuckle. He ain't going to catch much or recover much air, especially with damaged ribs. Every chance, every time he breathe in. Oh, and yeah, Mecca. He found he found his point. Oh, but, oh, but you see it. That that leg is it's definitely giving him problems. He jimmied that ankle or that knee when he took out Ace Austin's knee. And they say, this ain't ballet. I mean, ballet's tough. I think that's a pretty ignorant thing. But <laughs> it, it's, it's a different form. Certainly, this is a rough and tumble game. And you can take out someone and hurt yourself at the same time. I think Ace Austin, though, is looking for some sort of northern lights. And look at the Mecca just breaking him down. Almost, if, if you really look at it, oh, cover. Wow, only a one count. If First you look at it, the, the Mecca it seems to have a little bit of desperation. Maybe he feels that that with that injury to that leg, maybe you should try to get this done as quickly as possible. We already heard he wants to have a short night. The quicker, the better. You don't get paid by the hour as he rains down with that elbow. And, and you got to think, Mecca came to play. He wants word to get back to impact to the Scott Demores of the world that, hey, guess what? I beat your three-time X Division champ, Ace Austin. I beat one of your young up-and-coming up stars. I made an example out of him. Man, just a hard thud with that. Oh, wow. Boy, the quick, wow, the quickness of Ace Austin. Mecca fighting it, but that, that tweaked ankle or knee serving Ace Austin in that predicament. It took three tries, but he got him down. Hey, the saying goes, third time's the charm. And that open hand palm slap by Mecca. As he's trying to gain his footing again. Ace Austin now, look for him to get that momentum going. This is not what Mecca wanted to happen at all. Not at all, as we've said. Mecca, he's more, more of a throwback. Ace Austin, he wants to quicken that pace. Hybrid athlete, likes to combine different styles. And this may be... The chink in the armor that Ace Austin was looking for on the Mecca. Dodging out of the way does Mecca. But he comes, opens himself up. Oh, for an open hand uh, slap. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Oh, wow. Rare mistake. The quickness of Ace Austin into that cover. Whoa. Did you see that? Split second. That's all it takes. Hey, we've, we've said it before that when you have an opening, sometimes you have to pivot to get the advantage. And Ace Austin, he pivoted, and he got he really got the advantage right there. Oh, this is what we talked about, Mecca. He, just how smart he is. Going, going to the outside, not allowing, forcing Ace Austin to slow it down. A good wrestler has good offense. A good wrestler has good defense. A great wrestler has both. Oh, that splash feet on the ropes. Oh, but right in front of the referee. Caught red-handed or red-footed? I don't know. Well, as you saw, he only had one foot. Even even just putting any pressure on that leg seems to... Oh. Ace Austin drops him. Looking for that sequence of maneuvers. Oh! oh. This could do it. Our leg looked. Very close for Ace Austin. Driving Mecca's face directly into the mat. Oh, uh, but you see he's starting to get frustrated. I like the way this kid, Ace Austin, moves. It's almost seamless. He hops up from a lateral press. He's on his feet. There's not really any blips or dips or valleys. Just a lot of uh, uh, peaks in his arsenal. Wait a Whoa. minute. I didn't even see it. Mecca just threw that buckle. Oh, oh my oh. God. Taking advantage of it like he has in the past cover. Wow. The ref did not see it! The ref did not see it!